Well, good day, Motor Roadrunners. It's coming to the end of 2016. Started 2017. And it's taken me quite a bit of trial and error with the easy track and everything, but I think I'm ready to grow some wings and expand. Uh, gonna start the layout with some Atlas track, flex, switches, code 83. But that's not the whole reason why I'm shooting this video right now. It's all about this building. When I grew up, I had to pass this building twice a day at least to go to school. To go to work, I worked just on the other side of this building. It's in St. Thomas, Ontario. The building still stands today. It's over 120 years old, I do believe. And they're uh, fixing it up. Putting offices upstairs and everything else. Let's get a good look at this building. Ron Perry was the uh, guy that did the building for me. Well, I'm glad there's no defects. That's what I remember going past, is Conrail. So this is the start of the journey of the Conrail Canadian Division. So let's take a good close look at this building, shall we? So this is the Queso Station in St. Thomas, known as the Canada Southern Railway. This was their main headquarters and model done by Ron Perry and in the 80s I guess we found some pictures of it but a few of the doors were boarded up with plywood uh, it was starting to get run down at that time part of the building was still used and that was this end of it um, just the paint the the coloring that he's got the blinds in the windows the the downspouts everything is just picture perfect if you ever go and look at the real one the coloring he has on this is amazing the details on some of the windows and the doors just to get us in nice and close without going blurry and it will so that's probably as close as I can get windows on top of the doors the details in the doors the brickwork that he has done if you guys go back and watch his videos on how he does it it's like a matte medium that he's put on it and then he scrapes it off but you can see the detail in the brickwork is fantastic and again prototypical of that era in the 1980s Again, with the downspouts and all the little details that he put on up at the roof line itself. Now this is track side. And the way you could, you could tell this is the track side of it is at this end, this archway is that far from the end, whereas you go to the other end. I don't want to pick these up and move these and shake these around too much. But you can see it's a lot closer to this end. So we'll turn this around, take a good look at the other side, see if I can back this up a little bit anyway, and see if we can get the whole thing. There she is. The model itself is four and a half feet long. Now this is the street side, the side that everybody else would see that uh, was coming into the station to buy tickets and such. This end here had the ticket office in it. He's got some detail in the windows. I'll try to get you guys up a little bit closer. The thing I really liked about the station was the chimneys and the three spots on the top with the windows. Again, great detail to windows. He's got some of them blinds right out. So you guys can see the whole thing. From this, 
I'll just see if we can get you zoomed in a little bit. Again, you can see the detail that Ron's put in it, even the different shades and colors of it. My camera's trying not to cooperate right now. So I'm just going to shake you guys all over the place. Now the one thing with this kit, and I believe it was done by Laser Art, but don't quote me on that, is there a museum quality kit. And this is kit number seven and the last one that will ever be built. And Ron, when he, Ron Perry, when he put this one together, wanted to make it a little more unique than the ones you'd see in other museums. Well, I shouldn't say other museums because mine's not in a museum. It's going to be on my layout. But the roof comes off. And then you can take a good look inside. And he's got it actually mapped right out to what the building and all the rooms were back in that day. He's even got doors on the inside. So being able to take the roof off, I can put furniture in it, figures, maybe even open a door or two, have them going out. Excellent detail to it.